bro, am I the only one that feels this way? Like, bro, we just had this whole W chapter. Once again, not a pushover. Like, this chapter was a W. But, bro, <laughs> give me 1109. Now, capiche, hurry up. Like, honestly, if you could have gave us 1109 and then this one, it would have been like, whoa, you know what I mean? Because, like, you know... <laughs> I need that ASAP, bro. Like, waiting a whole week for that is going to be kind of crazy because I know after that chapter comes out, you're putting us on break instantly. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for all the love that I've been getting on the recent videos. Just got to say thank y'all, man. You know, I'm trying to get into my shoes on the YouTube thing, so it's good to see that some things is working. So I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. You know what I mean? One Piece chapter 1,108. And before we get into this chapter, bro, go ahead, all them buttons under this video, go ahead, click them for me, bro. Real quick, real simple. All right, let's get into it. Chapter title is an attention world. And I like, I think I can say this is a W chapter, but I think honestly, like if we look at this chapter as a whole, this chapter, like kind of set itself up for failure. As I was saying before, we read the chapter and then we don't care about the chapter anymore because we want what they're going to show us in the next chapter way more than what's going on in this chapter. So like this chapter gets overshadowed by something that's not, that hasn't even been dropped yet. You know what I mean? So this chapter starts off with a continuation of how the last chapter ended. Wet haired caribou. He's doing what he does best, bro. He's slithering around and it makes sense now exactly for story wise, exactly what's going on. He's been with us for a long time. He knows a lot of stuff. And him knowing that information, you know, kind of played no part in the story up until now. Our big BBEG, big bad evil guy, Blackbeard, he needs information. How's he going to get the information? Obviously, he can't get it from Luffy because as far as everyone knows, no one knows about Shirohoshi's power. No one knows about Pluton under Wano. The only people that know that is the Straw Hats and Caribou. And the big bad evil guys got to understand where all this stuff is in order for the plot to excel and, you know, advance forward. Because now we probably are going to have a setup where Blackbeard may go to Wano and then box everybody there, steal Pluton. Then Blackbeard might go to Fishman Island, which is Luffy's territory, by the way. Box everyone and take shit of Hoshi. What he does with them, I don't know. But having that information in Blackbeard's hands adds a lot more suspicion to what he's actually going to do in the story because i can say easily blackbeard from all of the you know forms of novel tree or you know storytelling he is a like so far he is a very mysterious and different antagonist from what i am used to i am used to the emus the you're a peasant you're nothing you can't stop me you know you're beneath me i'm old i'm this da 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 but Blackbeard, he moves very like surgical, you know, very mysterious. Like, like he is more of like the antagonist from like the superhero shows where like he doesn't just sprawl out his evil plan. It's just like you just kind of see the events and, you know, the, the repercussions of what the antagonist is doing, like very mysterious. I like what Blackbeard has going on. Like in last chapter, why did Van Auger help Luffy? Obviously, that was an order from Blackbeard. But why would Blackbeard help Luffy? Blackbeard obviously needs Luffy for something. But what? A lot of questions adds a lot of mysteriousness to the big bad evil guy, which, you know, kind of marks him up on my big bad evil guy list. I kind of I'm starting to mess with Blackbeard as an antagonist. And, you know, he ain't really even said nothing. You know what I mean? He ain't, he ain't even said nothing. It's just his actions are speaking way louder than his words. And it's not even his actions it's it's the double layered actions it's the stuff that he's not even doing but he's facilitating it like the plan has been set out and these actions that his crewmates are doing are actions of him even though he didn't do it you know what i mean rambling aside let's keep going on with the chapter so caribou wants to wants van auger and katarina devon in order to, to take him to blackbeard so that he can tell this information to Blackbeard. They were going to kill him at first, but obviously he has information. There's no reason for them to kill him. So they're probably going to take Caribou to Blackbeard. Uh, the only thing really of note is that we finally get the names of like all of the vice admirals that are, you know, here on the island. 
what they're doing they're, they're they're fighting the pacifista you know they didn't really do much you know the vice admirals have been a, a major letdown honestly in this arc that's the only thing that's kind of like that's my only kind of like grindstone you know my only gripes with this uh arc so far so obviously the old woman that's vice admiral blue uh bluegrass the one that looks like sanji that's vice admiral hound uh the one with the scars and the big long beard that one is vice admiral guillotine if we're gonna go by order of you know from the panels it goes guillotine hound bluegrass obviously we know who doberman is the other vice admiral with the big chops on the side that's vice admiral tosa we obviously know who vice admiral doll is and that about concludes it for the vice admirals the only thing of note worthy that the vice admirals did was that vice admiral tosa finally went into action and set up the giants helping us out he went he was like, my fingers can break through armor. And then he gets overshadowed quite literally by the Giants, gets boxed, uh, not even boxed. He just gets hit out of the way by the Giants or smushed or, you know, any of them. Either way, he got boxed. He, he fulfilled his purpose, which was, you know, showing that he's just armored fodder. You know what I mean? Armament fodder. That, that, that's my name for, for the Vice Admirals currently. Armament fodder. So the Giants are slowly, but slowly, slowly, slowly. Dorian Bragi slowly making their way to Luffy. They're currently where Frankie and Bonnie are, and they are a ways back from where Luffy and Sanji is because they st stayed back so they could fight Kizaru and Saturn. But slowly, they're making their way there. With the events of this chapter, I'm starting to see how, you know, the fight is going to end up like, but we'll talk about that later. So, some more names of the Vice Admirals. We have... Uh, the guy with the sunglasses, he's got the scar on the side of the face. That is Vice Admiral Pomsky. And then the one that looks like, you know, really not humanish, more of like a animal-like, that is Vice Admiral Urban. I feel like this is going to be something that is heavily, heavily more focused on in the anime. But we go back to the fight between Luffy, Sanji, Kizaru, and Saturn. That's currently who is on the battlefield. And we come back and... There was a transformation that happened between the events of last chapter and this chapter and saturn took like more of a like more on to the form of what he is like a demonic spider and sanji just calls him out okay so you're just dropping the whole human charade and you're showing us your true colors and i feel like this scene right here in the anime is gonna be way better than what we got because like we just get this panel and boom he's more of a spider you know less human I feel like in the anime, that's gonna be it's gonna be a very good episode to watch. So the situation currently is Luffy is trying to fight both Kizaru and Saturn at the same time. The plan is for Sanji to take Vegapunk and get gone, but Vegapunk is on the brink of death. Uh, there's a big scuffle. Kizaru gets a very Mickey light blast in. It's Vegapunk right through, like go straight through another big donut hole through Vegapunk and. I mean, at this point, like he's pretty much done for. Sanji picks him up again. And it's, man, I, I hope Vegapunk doesn't die. But it's looking like, you know, it's looking like that's the case. He suffered a, a claw through the chest by Saturn, light beam through the chest by Kizaru. It's just, uh, it's not looking good for Vegapunk. And uh, so Sanji, you know, by the orders of Luffy, told him to try to get him away as, as much as possible. He's always shoots the light beam through him. Sanji just picks him up, tries to keep him going. He's like, Vegapunk, don't die on me, bro. And the last panel, this was this was a, a quicker chapter. So the last panel shows basically Luffy kind of starts getting serious, grabs Kizaru, and then grabs Saturn by the face. And he's like, okay, basically, you're fighting me now. Stop going for Vegapunk. That shit's Mickey. But what overshadowed everything that just happened in this chapter, which was a lot. But it's, it was a short chapter. So we see somewhere else in the lab, there's like a, there's like a, you know, a heart monitor. And you see that it's got to be linked to Vegapunk. You know, that's what obviously makes the most sense. And it shows Vegapunk's heartbeat is flatlined. And it activates some kind of, you know, I guess fail safe. So I guess Vegapunk had a fail safe in the chance that he dies. He recorded a message and he's broadcasting it everywhere. So Vegapunk is dead. It, it's a 50-50 if he's gonna come back or not. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Like, cause I think at this point, 
what purpose would Vegapunk being alive serve? I think he's done his job, which was putting out that broadcast as bad as that sounds. Obviously, I want him back. You know, everyone deserves a good life in the show. But I think for story purposes, he might just be gone. If he isn't, I won't be bad at all. So he says, mic check, mic check, testing, testing, one, two, three. Chapter ends with him saying, I am Dr. Vegapunk, and I'm about to tell you all of the secrets of the world. And we are not on break next week, and we're going to go straight into the new chapter talking about Vegapunk telling everyone the truth of the world. And if this is like on the radio or something like that, where everyone can kind of pick up a frequency, I don't know how he's broadcasting this. Like, do, do, like, do people have to voluntarily, you know, kind of tune into this? I mean, obviously it's like a radio thing. Somebody could just tell you, hey, you know, hey, put put the radio on. Ve Dr. Vegabunk's telling us, hey, turns out Luffy's a, 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 a sun god, you know? Next chapter, man, oh man. See, there is a there is a huge opportunity. There is a huge, huge, huge opportunity for our bag to get sold next chapter. Because when you say something like this, I expect everything. I expect everything. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you guys, let me tell you guys what I perceive this as. If you're telling me the truth of the world, next chapter, I want to hear everything from the voice century. Next chapter, I want to see that damn robot downstairs turn on. Next chapter, I want to understand everything. Who are the Buccaneers? What was going on? What's going on with the Gorosei? Why are they still alive? Who is Emu? Like so many questions. I hope they are all answered plus some. I hope there's some new information that no one even knew about that is told in this next chapter. Because if you're about to tell us the truth of the world, I hope what we're going to get is going to be great. Um, It sucks. Honestly, it honestly sucks that this is, you know, the dying message of Vegapunk. And that puts the, the death count to one, right? Uh, so, Like, I don't think anybody else has died. It's it's just Vegapunk. Uh, Since tomorrow got boxed up pretty bad, but like he didn't die. So that will put our death count to one. And this one hurts and it's very impactful. It hurts and it's impactful. So with that, y'all, that is the chapter. I hope y'all had a good time watching this video. If you did, click all those buttons below. Once again, thank you so much for pulling up. And bro, 1109, pre-W chapter. But this, this chapter, W chapter.